So let me talk about the airband on the EQ2. Uh, my favorite thing, of course, is just that ability to get up above the frequencies and really just control the frequencies I want. I can get up nice and high, but the bottom of the shelf doesn't affect frequencies I don't want. Um, and I've noticed as I've been using the EQ2 that you've got the 40 and the 20, which the EQ3 always had, but then they've added 15 between 20 and 10, which is another great thing because, again, like sometimes you want to add air to a vocal, but you don't want to get into that sibilance. You don't want to get into that edgy, that, uh, that upper mid stuff. And so sometimes 15 is just the right place to be when 10 gets too low and you start affecting some of those lower frequencies. But 20 is just not bringing out quite enough in the singer. I've found that 15 just gets right in that sweet spot. So even more flexibility in the, in the airband than the old EQs had.